All right, we're here on Heart Media Day with Baker University head women's basketball coach Ben Lister. Coach, it's been a, a few months now. You can look back on, on uh, an incredible run by your team, um, accomplishing you know some great feats as the NAI national runner-ups. Um, as you look back, you know what did that mean to you and your program to have such a great run? Well, it meant a lot for a lot of different reasons. Uh, you know, one for us, it's a goal of ours to try to compete to win a national championship. So putting ourselves in that position. And uh, you know, finally getting to the place where we were able to be in that game said a lot about the belief of our kids, uh, the, the, the hard work that they put in, and uh, the preparation that they had during that week to, to make themselves uh, successful and make that run. So it, it was a tremendous week, not just for us, but for our university. It was the first time any women's team has played for a national championship in the history of Baker University. So uh, it's something that, uh, that our girls obviously can leave with us a legacy uh, and something that they can carry with them for the rest of their lives. Obviously we wanted to win the national championship, but for us as a group it was a great stepping stone. Uh, it's something for us to really build off and, uh, and use that momentum moving forward in the future, which we plan to do. It's helped with recruiting. Um, we've been out obviously all summer trying to get uh, you know our next class signed and, and that type of momentum has really helped us as far as building relationships and uh, getting our name out, getting recognition. So it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of positives. Uh, it was a heck of a week. When I, I know that our players loved it. Uh, I had a great time coaching in it. And uh, that's something that doesn't happen for every team and some teams have never experienced. So we're very, very proud of making that run, what we did for the university and what we did for our program. And uh, we're ready to, to turn the page and move forward. But uh, that's something we'll carry with us for the rest of our lives. So now, like you said, you do uh, you know, refocus and, and get ready for a new season. Um, yeah, how's the preseason going for you? How have, um you know, things been been going with the with the workouts and things like that with the newcomers and returners. Well, I tell you, it, it's it's been interesting. One for us, it was a long season, and uh, you know, I think we were worn out at the end of last year, just based on the length of the season and, and making that run in the postseason. Um, I think for us as a group, the, the big thing that we've been trying to accomplish is turning the page. Uh, we don't want to be a team that's going to rest on the success from last year. We want to be a team that establishes its own identity, and we want to do that right away. And with the way the conference is set up this year, uh, we don't have much choice. We have to be ready to go right away. So yeah, uh, we've had great workouts over the summer. Uh, I think our preseason conditioning went really, really well. Uh, practice so far has been a mix of, of good and bad, which you kind of expect. We have so many new players this year that uh, you know, we, we just have a lot of learning to do right now. But the energy's been very, very good. The attitudes have been very good. Uh, we just have a lot of, of things that we're trying to figure out as a group and uh, trying to build for towards our season. Uh, you know, with the quick, the quick turnaround as far as conference play starting so early, uh, you know, learning is something that's very, very important for us because we're trying to put everything in as much as we can so we don't fall behind the conference race early. Uh, and that's a challenge. Uh, so for me as a coach, it's definitely a, that's something that I'm trying to be patient with. I know that we have a lot of new faces. Uh, we have some very, very good young talent. We've got a lot of, of inexperience, though, as far as just what we expect from our program, and we're trying to get them up to speed as quickly as we possibly can. Yeah, let's break down your team a little bit. Um, first off, on the offensive side, you know, your, your team's always been had such a great balance attack with points in the paint and, and knocking down threes, et cetera. Um, you know, how do you anticipate seeing your offense this year? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, you know, for us in the past, you know, efficiency is something we're very big on. We want to take high percentage shots. Uh, we don't want to settle for a good shot if we can get a great shot. And uh, we honestly shot the ball at the highest percentage rate that I think we've shot since I've been here. Field goal percentage wise, we shot close to 44% and we shot uh, close to 40% from the three point line, which are really, really high numbers. But we also were much lower in scoring than we've been. Uh, maybe the last couple of years, we only averaged about 68, I believe, 69 a game, where a couple of years ago we won the conference, we averaged about 73 and a half. So pace of play is something that we're really looking at. I think we have the kind of group that can maybe get out and push the ball, be more aggressive, um, and attack earlier in the shot clock. I think we want to utilize our depth. We have a lot of kids that I think are very, very capable of being on the floor for us. And, uh, you know, I, th I think our goal is to try to wear teams down. Uh, but we're still trying to figure that out as a group. We're trying to figure out what's the best thing for us. 
with all these new pieces and new players and losing three two-year starters. Um, you know, we're trying to put that all together and figure out what's, what things are going to be like for us. But I, I think we're going to be a, maybe a little bit faster team this year as far as just uh, getting up and down the floor and attacking early. I think we have a lot of multi-dimensional kids that can create uh, off the dribble and in transition for us that we won't have to rely just on the one bringing the ball up as much. Uh, we can space the floor and attack early. So uh, I'm excited about what we can do offensively. We may be a team that scores. Uh, at a much higher rate than we did last year uh, and you know we're, we're going to hope that we're as good as we were defensively last year but I do think offensively we have some pieces in place to really really be a, a team that can go out and score a lot of points uh, if we go out and execute like we're capable of. Yeah defensively you will be out without the three-time Hart defensive player of the year as well as some some great guard play on the defensive side um, but you you've got some great pieces coming back defensively um, you know how do you hope to 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 step it up uh, defensively without some of your returners? I'm kind of scared on that end, to be honest. <laughs> uh, you know, Macy was a security blanket for us in the back end, and we knew we could do some things defensively to teams and that she could she could protect the rim. I think Courtney Hogue uh, and Mackenzie Cook are both uh, very good players. I think uh, those two kids will have the best shot at stepping in and, and really trying to um, shore up the back line for us, but Macy was a, a very, very talented shot blocker and very skilled in that and very naturally instinctive in doing that. Uh, I'm not sure that those two are the same type of defenders, but that doesn't mean we can't be as good defensively. We may just have some differences in what we do. So, um, you know, we're trying to figure that out as well. Uh, I think we have a lot more size and athleticism on the perimeter this year. I think, uh, you know, you're going to see a lot more length across the board for us. I, I think we have some quickness. Uh, that we could really get out and maybe hound some teams, maybe play some full court type of defense. But we're, we're again, we're in a process of learning everything that we, we want to know about ourselves as a group, and we'll try to put those things in place as the year goes on. Um, but defense was our calling card. That's the reason we made the national championship game. We were number one in blocks, number one in field goal percentage defense in the country. And uh, it, it's a real positive for me to have a group at the beginning of the year state that they want to be that kind of defensive team again. That means they understand that that's what it takes to win, and uh, they're brought in on that end. So I think we will be a successful defensive team because I think we have girls that want to guard. And that's a, that's a real positive for me as a coach. It makes me feel really uh, uh, happy about the direction that we're going to go and that and then we'll figure it out at some point in the year and become the kind of team that I think we're capable on that end. Well, Coach, thank you. We will hear from you a little bit later in this interview. Thanks. All right, we're here um, on Heart Media Day with Baker University senior Sydney Buchel. Uh, Sydney, you guys had a, just an incredible season last year, one of the, the greatest seasons of any team in Baker history. Um, you know, what did that mean to you to, to be a part of that? And, and you know, what do, what do you think it meant to the team? Um, I mean, obviously, it was kind of unreal. We didn't really believe what was going on when it was happening during that week. Um, we didn't have a strong conference play like we wanted to, so we didn't exactly have the best seeding in the tournament, but we managed to get through each game. And uh, to me, it's an experience I'll never really forget and something I'll carry with me for a lifetime. Uh, just the bonding with the team on the trip and the way we got through each game and the way we just dominated teams. Um, it really, like I said, it was just unreal. Every day we kind of woke up like not really understanding how we got to this point, but you know we were ready to keep going, and and the rest of the team kind of felt the same way. And, uh, it's just something we hope to build off of for this year, and uh, we hope to take it a step further and actually win this year. So, yeah, this year's team has a, a good combination of returners, but then a lot of newcomers. Mm -hmm. um, as a senior leader, you know, how do you feel the preseason's going, uh, bringing those two elements together? Uh, it's definitely an interesting mix because we do have a lot of experience uh, that was there through the national tournament and they experienced what it's like to play at that level and then we also do have six or seven new players that I think are going to contribute more than any year I've been here that freshmen are able to contribute but uh, it's definitely an interesting mix trying to get the chemistry together but it's, it's getting there you know um, it's kind of rough in the beginning but I think I think we're getting there step by step and day by day it gets a little better and I think it actually works well together bringing in new players that bring um, different aspects of the game to our experience I think it's going to work to our advantage this season. Let's talk about the heart. Um, you know, three teams in the Fab Four last year with Mid America, Baker, and Benedicting. Um, so obviously, you know, the the toughest conference in the country. Um, you know, what do you what do you hope to accomplish this year in, in such a tough conference? But also, um, we're adding some teams too, so that conference season will be much larger. Mm -hmm. Talk about the conference for us. Uh, well, obviously, it's a goal for us to win conference this year. Uh, like I said last year, we didn't exactly do as well as we wanted to, but you know, now we know that everyone's going to kind of be going out for us after we got second 
in the nation, and obviously it's going to be a big rival game between Mid America, Benedictine, Central Methodist, um, and all the rest of the conference teams, and you can't really let up at all, and you have to be ready to go being in the season because we do play conference, fourth game in the season, so I think it's very important that we um, are 100% ready to go. There's no downfall in being in the season, and, and we're ready to go right off the bat because, like you said, one of the hardest teams in the country, um, and after having three out of the four teams, in the final four from the hack, it kind of says a lot about our conference, and we have a, a lot to live up to in the nation and how well the conference does. So it's definitely going to be a challenge, but I think we're ready for it. Sydney, this is your, your final year, and uh, you've been, been a part of some great teams here and some great experiences. Um, you know, what, what will it mean to you to, to put on that Baker unif uniform uh, one, one final time this year? Uh, I know something I'm really trying to make sure I'm doing this year is kind of helping fill that leadership role that we lost last year, being a senior, um, having the experience that I have over four years. Uh, I really just want to step up and, and be a leader on the floor and be a more consistent player offensively and defensively. So I know personally that's one of my goals is to um, show out for every game and, and just keeping the team on track, keeping us set on our goals and just kind of stepping up into that role that we lost with Erica Simpson as a leader on the floor. So that's one of my big personal goals going into my final season here at Baker University and obviously um, winning the conference and then having a good national run again is a, is a goal for me. Well, Sydney, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll wrap things up here in a few minutes. Well, we're ready to wrap things up here on Heart Media Day, but we will now um, let Coach Lister take over from here to uh, end Baker's portion of Heart Media Day. So, Sydney, mm -hmm. you have had the uh, tremendous privilege of playing for me for four years. I would just like for you to go into detail on how wonderful of an experience that has been for you. Well, um, it has been a long four years, lots of conditioning, lots of five mile runs outside. Um, I think my situation is a little different because I did have quite a few injuries, so um, it's kind of been different for me. But you know, last year uh, it was really my full year of starting and um, letting you coach me throughout the whole season and, and going, so I don't know what to say. <laughs> this is a hard question. I mean, like the experience, has been amazing. It's nothing I couldn't ask for, and um, you know we are thankful for you and everything you do for us, and especially this nice new locker room we have. Just gonna show that off. Um, that's something that Coach kind of went out of his way to do for us, and and um, you know we helped get through the national tournament, and this was kind of a way of almost repaying us for a great season. So um, it has been a good four years. You know I've learned a lot um, on and off the court. You know he's kind of taught me how to be a leader. Um, help me improve my outside game, so I, I have had a lot of takeaways from Coach Lister. Wow, she took that way serious. I was kind of joking, but we'll take it. Well, so <laughs> That's a great way to end. So we're looking forward to the season, looking forward to all of our fans being out there. It's going to be a great conference year. We've got a really tough conference. Um, we're going to be in the mix competing for another championship and making a run. Our goals are set very high, and they should be because that's the kind of program we have now. So we're looking forward to seeing you guys there. Can't wait to get started. And uh, we'll see you guys soon.